I do like to get to all your requests. It's true. In fact, I prefer them because then I get to help show you the things that you actually want to know. So <laughs> this tip came in from, or request, <clears throat> came in from Tanner. And uh, <laughs> I clearly you were listening to the mandolins and beer episode last week with Ronnie McCurry, where they discuss the dish rag wrist, as it's described by Del McCurry. And, uh, and this is a great thing to focus on. Um, and uh, we'll talk about that here for a minute. Okay. There's, I mean, there's a lot going on here with the picking, the picking arm when it comes to, uh, you know, when the pick finally hits the string and pushes the air out of the instrument that causes sound and, and, and tonality. Um, uh, there's, I mean, probably a little bit of right arm in there. Although, for starters, one of the most important things is to be relaxed and to breathe. And I think what we hear when we hear something like the Ronnie McCurry right hand is we hear the relaxedness, and we hear the timing that comes as a result of that, the smoothness and the timing. And so anyway, you get a little bit of this right arm in there, but mainly this forearm, this joint is moving, which is moving the forearm a little bit, and the, the wrist has to be completely loose, you know, so that, uh, so that when this moves, it creates like an engine. It creates the movement here. Um, and then when you get through here and hopefully you're holding your pick in a way that allows your wrist and hand to move freely, it's like a pendulum, you know, this gets this going and and because this is doing it in even time, this is swinging freely, which creates that even pendulum-like time. And so all of this can be for naught if if we're gripping the pick too hard. So um, what I hear in that is, is a really relaxed, loose pick and a loose wrist. And another thing that, that Ronnie has developed really well is the ability to go between that tremolo sound and the single note sound. Um, and an important thing in doing that is, is getting it to where your right hand is doing the same thing regardless of whether it's playing single note or double stop or open string drony things or, or, or whatever terminology you want to use. Um, for instance, <clears throat> Let's look at a, a song in 3-4, like Lonesome Moonlight Waltz. So, now don't get wrapped up in playing the entire song, because then your your focus on is going gonna, is gonna to drift to how does the song go. Um, so so look at let's look at that first lick. Whoops. You have to you have to hone in your your um your sweep when you go to single note, but the way you're making it um push the pick is the same. And that's what makes it sound, uh, you know, consistent. Now, now look if I if I loosen up on the pick. Um... kind of airy, airy sound, um, the lighter you hold the pick. And then the harder you hold the pick, uh, it just starts to sound kind of... 
You know, less controlled and more jagged and loud, which, you know, <laughs> grip on the pick is what sort of controls the texture and the volume um, and the tone. So we've been talking about how the pick hits the strings um, from the wrist and the timing side of things. Because there's, there's this axis, and then there's also this axis, um, which uh, it, it's, it's, it's a tiny combination of the two. But, but what I was going to get at is um, then you look at... I don't know if you would call it an axis, but you look at this dimension of the of the pick and the string, and so you've got you've got the way that the pick hits the string this way, or this way, or this way, or this way, or this way, and then how deep into the string it goes. So, for especially for tremolo and stuff like that. When you're doing downstroke stuff, you can, you know, have it be this way or this way or whatever. But if you just think about the mechanics of it, when it gets to down, up, down, up, down, up, which whether you're playing single note or double note or tremolo or double stop, almost, I mean, the vast majority of what we play on the mandolin is down, up, down, up, down, up. If you're playing fiddle tunes, if you're playing, you know, whatever, it's down, up, down, up, down, up. So... When you're going down up, one of the very fundamental goals of, of getting your down up stroke going is to get them even as possible. Right? And so it's a it's a just a challenge of nature anyway, because in the downstroke, gravity is on your side. And so then in order to make this motion, this repetitive motion be uh consistent you have to give a little bit more on the upstroke and then you have to get your you know your spinning wrist um used to doing that all the time because i mean it's like you know it's going constantly um the pick angle on the string like if you're if you're going down up down up and your pick is not parallel to the strings say it's like this um then your sound on your down is going to be hard to match on your up because your pick is all off, you know what I mean? And so I, um, and similarly, if it's off this way, but if it's off this way, when you go down, if you're holding it at an angle like this, it's hard to get that evenness so you want to have and that's that goes that plays into why you kind of have to get have the pick have a little give with the way you're holding it that way you can hold it like where it's straight up and down and also parallel to the strings so that as your hand moves it the pick moves a little bit each time so that where that evenness comes from so it's even this way it's even this way it's even this way you know it's it's the pick <laughs> how you hold the pick and all that stuff really plays into this um so now let's look at another tune going back to old kentucky so now this is another this is uh that sound, which incidentally, this version of it was taught to me by Ronnie McCurry, um, Tanner. So, so, I mean, I don't sound like him when I play it, but I'll give you the best I can. Um, particular case the key is to open up everything under the melody note um, so when I when the melody moves up to the A 
I'm only playing the open E underneath it. But then when it moves to the D string, I'm trying to get all three of those strings. So on that note, let's do a let's do a pick along. Two, a one, two, a three. Same thing, but faster. One, two. You pick it.
everybody.